Paris Hilton, our favorite model and an incredibly talented woman, always staying relevant and doing it effortlessly. The businesswoman is nothing less than an icon that we are all obsessed with. Recently, the socialite has made headlines, again for speaking up about her abuse in the past and her efforts to promote breast cancer awareness. In this video, we'll let you in on Hilton's abuse story and other news, so keep watching. First up, what made Paris finally open up about such a traumatic experience? Talking about assault can be a very difficult thing to do, and it takes a great deal of courage and bravery to open up about something so traumatic, especially when you're in the public eye the way Paris Hilton is. So we're all wondering what made Paris finally break her silence? Well, according to Paris, the Psychiatric Youth Residential Treatment Center has had a history of abuse with its residents, especially the teenagers. The trauma that this institute gives to its residents is one that cannot be overlooked. From mandatory prescribed medicines to verbal abuse, abuse. Provo Canyon School has done a lot of damage to anyone who went there, to kids as young as nine years old. Paris had had enough of it and couldn't stand there and watch the institute operate in broad daylight. She could not let any more children and teenagers be subjected to the abuse she was subjected to in her teens. And that's why she finally spoke up, to protect the current inhabitants of the school. It takes so much courage to speak up about something so personal and sensitive, but Paris, as we all know, is one resistance resilient woman. She thought enough is enough and to protect the youth and their mental health, didn't hold back and finally broke her silence. We're all so proud of her for taking this step. Following up, let's look at how Paris opened up. Paris had previously talked about the verbal, mental, and even physical abuse she'd gone through at the boarding school. She spent almost a year at during her teens. In her documentary, This Is Paris, released back in 2020, she let the public in on some of the traumatic events that she and the rest of the students had to put up with at the school. But recently, Paris followed up on what she told the public in 2020 and discussed some truly disturbing things that went down at the Institute during her stay there. In an article published by the New York Times on Tuesday, Paris shared some details about her time at the Institute that were not public before. A video released by New York Times Video also featured Paris talking on the same issue. But she didn't stop there. She really wanted the world to acknowledge this school for the hellhole it is for teenagers and kids. Taking to Twitter, she highlighted some of the things she discussed in the interview. Mentioning the video by the New York Times, she revealed some things that left the people shocked and furious at the Institute for its disgusting treatment of such young people. Let's look at what Paris said exactly. Pro Provo took away the childhood of Paris and so many other survivors and has continued to do so for many years. In the interview with New York Times, Hilton said that she, along with a lot of her other female classmates, were abused by the male staff on several occasions. Talking about one out of many such occasions, she said that a while she was at the school, she was woken up in the middle of the night by the male staff, who then proceeded to take her to a private room in the darkness of the night to perform cervical exams. What's worse is that Paris followed up by saying that due to being heavily medicated and sleep deprived, she could not grasp the depth of what was happening to her at the time, which made the fans feel even worse knowing that there could have been planning behind what the staff did to Paris and many other students. She continued to share more details about how the ordeal went down. And honestly, we can't imagine the kind of strength it would have taken for Paris to open up about it. She told the public how she was forced to lay down on a padded table and open her legs to submit to a cervical exam. And how when she cried and resisted and said no, she was met with a harsh, shut up, be quiet, stop struggling, or you'll go to OB. Yes. Following up, here's what more she said about the situation. In the emotion-provoking video of Paris talking about her traumatic experience, she also told us that there was not a single doctor present on site. Not one. All these medical exams and medicine was administered without any actual professional medical supervision. This was shocking to hear, but knowing what the school is responsible for, we're not surprised. It's a horrible place where horrible things take place. She followed up and said that the male staff would 
put their fingers inside her and other female students. Most of these students were underage. To make matters worse, Paris said that this was not something that happened once and then stopped. It was an almost regular occurrence that happened to her and the other residents of the boarding school. Feeling overwhelmed about opening up, she said that she was crying while she typed out these tweets because she believes that absolutely no one deserves this and especially not a child. She said although she had tried to forget about it all and block those memories out, it's important to talk about them now. Hilton further added that it kills her to think that there are still children in that institute going through such nightmarish things. She also added that despite it being very hard and painful to talk about such a thing from her past, it's important to do so. Not only for her personal healing, but also to put an end to this cycle of abuse. All these thoughts are what motivate Paris to get the school shut down once and for all. Up next, let's look at what Paris did to raise awareness about breast cancer. Since it is October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Paris decided to do her part in raising awareness on this topic. Despite the efforts of many people around the globe, there are still a lot of misconceptions surrounding breast cancer and not enough viable information about diagnosis, treatment, and more. For this very reason, the socialite decided it was important for her to play her part when it came to spreading awareness and removing the stigma around breast cancer. And people all around the world are really appreciating her efforts for the cause. Paris took to Instagram and made a post in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Mental Health Day. In the selfie shared by her, we saw her standing and smiling in front of an MRI machine. In the caption, she encouraged her fans and followers to be proactive instead of reactive when it comes to physical health. She also mentioned her late grandmother who passed away 20 years ago saying, I miss her every single day. What's more is that she shared photos and videos of herself getting MRI scans to promote getting regular checkups, along with her breast cancer results that read cancer-free. She encouraged the people seeing the post to take good care of their physical health and get regular checkups, as it's one of the best ways to keep yourself up to date about your physical health. Finally, Paris emphasized on the importance of mental health too. Sharing a message about the abuse she received as a teen, she wished all her fans and followers a happy mental health day, along with a picture of herself wearing a shirt that read Survivor across the front. The American media personality believes, as she has previously addressed as well, that she feels very strongly about mental health. Being a survivor of emotional and mental trauma herself, advocating for change has allowed me to heal in such a profound way alongside you, she said in the same post. Seeing this vulnerable side of Paris really made the fans' hearts warm up. We're so proud of Paris for the work she's doing regarding mental health and physical health. The 41-year-old understands that with the kind of influence she has, she can really bring a change in the world, or at least contribute to the ongoing work in the world of mental and physical health. Her messages really helped remove some of the stigma that surrounds mental health and assault according to her fans. You do not deserve to struggle in silence. I wanted to come on here and let you know, hashtag I see you survivor, the DJ added in her caption under the post. Reading that as a survivor for a fan could really be something so encouraging and can make them feel so seen and valid. We think the American businesswoman really won everyone's hearts with all that she has done recently. That's all we have time for in today's video. What do you think about the work Paris has been doing? Let us know about all your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.